Hello and welcome back to Fashion with Sort Out YouTube channel and in today's tutorial we are learning how to make this simple smart pencil gun okay so we just need a trouser yard of um, crepe material to make this because this depends on the measurement you are working with for me I'm using a, a trouser length for this project and here is my fabric folded into four you can see the way it's folded i left extra 1.2 inch on the back side for our zipper and also the area where the 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 i have the extra will serve as our neck where the neck will be and the other area the other edge that is where we'll mark all our markings and so the first thing we'll do is mark our back our m length for this project the the length we are working with is 43 i'll then add two inches to hit for hemming okay so next i'll first okay i said i will mark the back the back we are working with is 14 inches i divide by two which is seven and then add half inch to it for sewing allowance and then i'll mark it then to have our arm circumference um our arm o okay so i marked out eight inches and then i will puff it to have the arm o and then on the edge of the shoulder at the edge of the shoulder i'll mark down i will mark half inch to get to form our shoulder slant and then our neck width will be 3.5 so from there i will connect it to the um half inch i marked on the shoulder line the next we are going to consider is our under sorry our corset which is 10 inches and the next is our under bust length which is 13 inches and the last to it is our half length which is 15 inches okay so the last measurement is our hip circumference and to this i added six inches to my half length and then and then another nine inches to the half length so the six inches will serve as the upper part of the hip and the nine inches will serve as the lower part of the hip i hope you are getting what i'm saying okay so all we will input now is okay so later i added i marked out i didn't have marked out the knee length i didn't do that now so what i the next thing we'll do is mark our body circumference our bust is 30, 32 divided by 4 i had 8 and then i added 2.5 inches to it as our sewing allowance i come down to the under bust area and then for our under bust our under bust is 28 inches i'll divide it by 4 and then i have 7 inches 7 inches per so and i have sewing allowance that's um that's nine so i'm marking 9.5 so i'm marking out 9.5 i will then connect it to the bust line and come down to my half length i have the same circumference i have for ubl as half length to 28 coming down to our hips our hip circumference is 40 is 39 rather sorry guys so 39 divided by 4 i added the 2.5 sewing allowance to hit so just like i said that i didn't mark out the knee length initially so right now i'm marking it out so for my for my knee length i marked out 30, 33 inches that is the length right so i'll come down to measure the second frames for my second frames for my knee second frames I'm going to remove one and a half from what I had on my hip line and that I will mark on 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 the knee length of course it's a pencil gun and it must really really be pencil okay so that is that to so that I'll connect it to the hip line and then come down to the M length the same thing I have on the knee length is what I'm going to mark mark on the knee length and then i'll make a connect of all 
just as you can see so right now after this has been done after all has been said and done the next thing we'll do is make a cut out of the dress just as you can see and mind you i'm cutting my lining also with it if you notice that you are seeing an extra um fabric underneath that's my lining so i have cut everything together both the lining and the fabric okay so now what we'll do is come to our neck line to mark out our neck circumference and for our width just as i said i we use 3.5 and then to have our back i'm marking out one inch i'll cut that together with the front and then remove the back from it so that so that we can work on our front body's neck Okay, so now we have our front bodies all we have to do is since we have the neck width cut out already i'll just come down by two inches and connect to the neck width so that will automatically means that for the front um, neck we have three and a half by three i'll then make you know it has a an opening at the front all i'll do is mark four inches extra and then cut it just as you see me do so right now we'll go to our sleeve cut you know we have a cup um sleeve there right so what we'll do is for our sleeve cap we're going to mark out five inches and then come down for to for the sleeve length will come down by four inches i hope you understand that so for our sleeve length we have four inches and for our sleeve cap we have five inches i'm trying to label it so that you understand better what i'm saying so that is our sleeve length area this is unfold and this upper part will serve as our sleeve cap okay so you can see that this the sleeve is so small it's not a long one so that's why i'm having four inches so this is so this is how we are going to connect the two as you can see you just take your cuff roller connect the cap with the length just as you see me do this i guess this is just a simple and easy way of cutting a cup sleeve so what i will do now is cut it out and then use it to cut my fabric you see how it is yes yeah, so what i will do is cut it out just like i said i'll cut my sleeve you can see the the cloth is so small that it's just managed so this is all we have left left from the one tr one trouser and that's why i said that the quantity of the material you will use depends on your client's um measurement okay so now i'll just cut the sleeve and then that is all to making this beautiful pencil gun an office dress so guys i i hope you got value watching this video i want to say thank you to every of my returning subscribers if you are here to subscribe please wait no further don't hesitate to do that make comments share our videos and always also press on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video so guys thank you so much for staying true to the end see you in my next video bye bye